Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Rich from Rich to be Live, and we are looking at the markets. So, the pot stock index in Canada is up pretty nicely today. It's up 2.96% at 76.63. After yesterday, I said we were hitting a bottom and the resurrection is coming. I said the resurrection was near. And look at this. It looks like it sure is. Take a look at my phone is popping off. Everything's popping off this morning. Things are going crazy. People are wondering what's going on. But the cannabis sector is up almost 3% today in Canada. And we'll go through some of the top stocks to buy and top stocks to look at. And then the United States, let's take a look at the U.S. Let's take a look at U.S. And the U.S. market is also green, up just under 1% at 87.70. The bottom is 85.02. The top is 124. Yesterday, I did predict that we are going to see a resurrection soon. I believe we are starting to find the bottom in the cannabis sector, just based on the fact that we're close to a 52-week low. I mean, that's really what is triggering this, in my opinion. Wow, this is... Uh... Let's remove the telegram because the telegram is going crazy. Now, if we take a look at some of the most active and the top gainers in America, Pot Network Holdings Inc. is up 6%. MCOA is up, penny stock, up 3.5%. Ianthus Capital, one we've been talking about in our group chat a lot, which is at a 52-week low, is up 1.9%. MedMen is up 1.2%. That's pretty much the only gainers. We don't see big, big, big gainers today. Oh, that's not true. K's Holdings, Kaya Holdings Inc., K-A-Y-S, up 11.4%. True Leaf Cannabis Corp at $10.60 is up 3.6%. IGC, India, Globalization Capital is up 2.89%. Charlotte's Web Holdings, C-W-B-H-F, is up 2.85%. Just to name a few. And if we look at the decliners, go to decliners... We can see some decliners in America. Uh, that's in the American market. And if we go back to the Canadian market and we click Canadian index. Let's see here. Canadian index is still up two points, 2.71%. You can see the spike here. Just a huge spike to start the day. So what is causing this? Let's see, what are the major players today that are up? Percentage gainers. So MJ, True Leaf Brands at 29.5 cents, up 7.27%. Alifia Health, coming back from the dead, up 5.98%. ALEF is a symbol there. MYM Nutraceuticals has been on fire lately at 46 cents, up 4.55%. Namaste Technologies, Inc., up 3.92%. They coming back from the dead. Meta, National Access Cannabis Corp, up 3.7%. Lift & Co. Corp, up 3.57%. Nutritional High International Inc., up 3.2%. Terrasen Corp, T-E-R, up 2.65%. And Emerald Health Therapeutics Inc., up 2.6%, Invictus MD Strategies Corp, up 2.6%. Now, if we look at all the top constituents, Cannabis Growth is down again, Aurora Cannabis is down slightly again, Cronus Group is up slightly, just at $20, Tilray at $46, up slightly, Afria down in the red, I think this is a buying opportunity for Afria at $8.58, it's crazy, down 1%. Hexo is up 1%. Organogram is up slightly. The Green Organic Dutchman is down 1.5%. Cantrust Holdings continues to slide. Let's look at Cantrust.
Can Trust is the short of the century, and everybody's jumping on the Can Trust bandwagon to short because it is admitting that they did something wrong. What's up, Max Power? Max Power says TRST swallows, bring Xenobis down, grr. I'm dying out here, down 1,200, 12,000 on FSD, down 2,600 on Xena. Yeah, well, you know what? Um, <clears throat> the market right now is at a 52-week low, so everything is down. So the reality is this is a buying opportunity to buy right now. If you were looking to buy, now is the time to buy because everything is down. And can trust. I think this is one of the best opportunities out there. I wouldn't suggest you buy it now, but at some point, this is going to hit a bottom. And we're going to be able to pick this up really, really cheap. And if I can pick up CanTrust dirt cheap, then why wouldn't I? Um, I, I think it's... I think it's gonna go lower than 350. I think CanTrust goes to maybe two bucks. And at that point in time, I'd love to own about 10,000 shares and just load up and wait for the next resurrection. So yeah, I'm a big fan of CanTrust. I'm not a fan of what they did. Anytime you're growing in illegal rooms and using special walls to hide cannabis from Health Canada, clearly you're not operating with transparency and not really operating like a professional licensed producer should and not representing Canada and Health Canada the way a licensed producer should. So that's why the stock is going down. They got caught with their pants down. They caught do it, got caught doing illegal activities. And you can see here they're at a 52 week low. Now, I think it goes lower. So I would be patient. I wouldn't rush to buy this. Wait till it hits the bottom. It's not signaling any power or any strength. So I don't see why anyone would rush to buy this right now. If anything, and I've told you guys this since the beginning, this is a short. This is a short. This is a massive short play. If you're looking to make money on this trade, you got to short it. If you short it, you have a chance to make money. That's just the way it goes. But if you buy this right now, that's kind of suicidal. Why would you buy something that hasn't even shown any strength yet? So, yeah, I think that can trust long term is going to be very good. But right now, based on this scandal that they're caught up with with health canada it is going to drag them down and there are lawsuits pending there are lawsuits mounting and i think this is just the start and the timing couldn't have been any worse for can trust because we are moving into edibles legalization and with edibles legalization around the corner why would you want to get caught in the middle of a scandal like this now clearly they don't want to get caught <laughs> i don't think they plan to get caught but the reality is they did, and everybody is talking about how much of a mess they are. Look at this. CanTrust crumbles amid investigation and product seizures. CanTrust, what a mess. This is Seeking Alpha and Stockhouse. Everybody's talking about what a mess CanTrust is. So why would you want to go and put your hard-earned money into them right now when everybody's clearly shorting the stock? This is a short. This is 100% a short. Let's take a look at some of the other stocks of the day. Let's take a look at MTLO. Bruce Linton has been on fire with MTLO doing interviews and videos. And MTLO is back up again today at 67 cents. Up 4.69% has traded 1.1 million shares in volume. And the market is just getting started. I mean, it's still only 7.01 p.m., on the west coast only 10 a.m. on the east coast seems like a slow day so far um, for whatever reason the markets kind of you know up and down Ryan Benton says good morning rich from Georgia USA how you doing today Ryan in Georgia is there anything that you guys are watching today anything that is winning for you guys today that you want to talk about if so please let me know If there's any picks that you guys want me to look at, any picks you guys want me to pull up, please let me know. We are live and we will continue to stay live and we are looking at all the winners of the day. I'm gonna bring you guys some of the big winners of the day and let's take a look at the overall markets. 
So overall, the markets are somewhat red, but not much. We got 2,311 decliners. This is the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, and Amex markets. And we have 2,087 advancers. So there are some winners. There are some losers. A few more losers than winners. Tesla is down slightly at $237 now. VISL, a big darling from yesterday, had a huge day, down 47% today. Google is up slightly at $1,151. Apple is in the green at $203. If we took a look at the top gainers of the day, RVLT up 163%. Whoa. Are you serious? RVLT? Big winner. RVLT up. 160% today. Unbelievable. C O D X. C O D X is up 69%. ATIF is up 54%. IMUX is up 26%. IMMP is up 19%. CETX is up 24%. These are just some of the gainers so far today. Now, some of the top losers, which I mentioned, VISL is down 46%. INUV is down 27%. CEI is down. 19% INPX INPX is down 10%. So there's some of the gainers and some of the losers. Max Power says I seen that Langley will be fully functional by Q3 sales license by September. Tilray deal and they will produce 130 tons for sale by Q1 2020 then that stock will hit five to six, I think. Yeah, and this is the time to load up on Xena when it's low, okay? Don't get caught up buying hype, guys. Don't buy things when they're high. Buy them when they're low, and then when they go up, sell them, and then just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. I wouldn't rush to buy anything in these markets, okay? You need to be smart, and you need to be strategic, and you need to wait for the dips, wait for the 52-week lows, wait for the bottom, load up at the bottom, and then when you see a top, that's when, or when you see that it's gaining steam and it hits a top, that's when you gotta think about selling. Or if you buy something and it's been running and then all of a sudden it starts to lose momentum, that's when you wanna get out, okay? You don't wanna you know, see it go back down and then end up selling. You, know, you don't wanna do that, that's how you lose, okay? You win by buying low and selling high, okay? And look at this, can't trust keeps falling. Can't trust just keeps falling, guys. And this is going to continue. Like I said, this is the short of the century. This is the short of the century. Right here. This right here is the short of the century. Look at this. Cantrust Holdings just keeps going lower. So if you're looking to short something, Cantrust has to be one of the first picks for you to short. I mean, look at this one month chart. This has come all the way down from $7.04 a month ago, June 11th, and here we are today at $3.88, and I believe it's going to go lower. I believe this goes lower. I've had some people say to me, I'm buying CanTrust, and I'm like, what? Have you even read the news? Do you realize that this thing is getting shorted, and it's going to keep getting shorted? Because I don't see how anybody would want to buy this stock right now. Why would you want to buy a stock that's going down every single day? 
Sometimes when you're buying stocks, you got to trust your eyes. You see stocks going down. Why would you buy them? Wait. Like, wait. It's the rush. So many people are always in a rush and they get bad entries and then they wonder why they, they're, they're not good traders. I mean, you got to look at your entries, guys. Look at your entries. Are you rushing your entries? If you're rushing your entries, you're not going to win. Sorry. You got to be patient. You got to hunt the bottoms. Don't be such a rush to spend your money. Think the opposite. All the best traders I know, I'm going to be honest with you, they never rush buying anything. They never rush to buy anything. They take their time. They wait. They hunt the stocks. And then when they see the stocks at a 52-week low and the lowest they've ever seen, that's when they buy. And those are the ones that do the best. But if you rush to buy stocks, oh my God, the stock is running, and you buy it, you're not going to have good success. I'm going to tell you right now, you will not have good success. If you want to win, learn to hunt your prey. Okay, buying stocks is like dating. When you rush to get to know someone, does it end up really well? Sometimes it does, but for the most part, it doesn't. So don't rush to buy anything. Definitely don't rush to buy can trust. If anything, you might want to rush to short them. I wouldn't rush to be buying them. That's suicidal. Ryan Benton says Kushko reports 41.5 million in revenues, non gap net loss of 8.5. Zero six. Can you help me interpret that, Rich? Yeah, I think that the reality is Kushko, just like everybody else, is growing their revenues, which is very positive. However, they still are having losses because they are focused on growth. They're focused on expansion. Mind you, they are green today, and I still like them at these prices. I think that at $5, they're priced well. I think if you can get them a little lower, if you can get in at like four bucks, you will do really, 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 really well. Even if you get in at five dollars, I believe you will do really, really well. I see Kushko going to ten dollars. I think they're going to go way higher. Their 52 week high, I believe, is seven dollars. Right there. Seven dollars on January 11th of this year. So from here, that's a 40% upside, which is huge. And you can see that their low low of the year was $3.89. That would have been an amazing entry for Kushko. That's the low low. High high is seven. And we're kind of trading right in the middle, right around five bucks. So I believe that this is highly undervalued, highly underappreciated, and highly underexposed. And I believe it has a great future, Kushko bottles. So put them on your watch list, put them on your radar, KSHB, I think they are going to be a giant in America. And with American legalization coming and Kushko being the largest bottling stock in America and packaging company, they are destined to be huge. They're going to build a billion dollar company. And when they become a billion dollar company, will you own them? Will you profit from them? Will you take advantage of the growth of Kushko Bottles? Because this is a company that will continue to grow. And you can see that with their revenue growth, they have already shown and proven that they have the ability to continue to grow. Thank you, Ryan, for bringing me this information. Max Power says, I got in at 171, made 2000, got out, then I thought it was going back up, so I got in at two bucks. Yeah, you know, um, it was good that you made the $2,000 on Xena, but what the mistake you made, and I've made this mistake before, so I don't blame you because I get excited too when you make money. Typically, and I've heard this from a lot of people lately, when you buy a stock, and then you make money, okay, on that stock. Don't rush to get in right away because these stocks go up and down, as you can see. So Zena has been as high as 685, let's just say 675 in November of 2018. It wasn't that long ago. And they've been on this meteoric fall, right? And then they've been as low as like, I think the lowest I've seen them is about $1.42 right here since 147, but I think it's been as low as $1.42. That's the bottom. 
if you want to buy Zena, buy them at a dollar forty, dollar fifty, dollar sixty range. Why rush? Then they go and they have this huge jump up, right? And it was momentum. That was your selling opportunity. It actually went as high as two dollars and twenty three cents. That was your selling opportunity. People were asking, what do I do? I'm like, sell, sell, sell. Not here to what, tell you what to do, but sell. Not here to tell you what to do, but sell. I can't tell you what to do, but when you're up, sell. Take your money and then enjoy it. Wait, don't rush. What's the panic? Why rush? And then the same thing. People do this all the time. They rush to go and buy in and then the stock goes down again. I'm like, oh man, you did it. You bought it, made money sold it, and then took that money you made, put it back in, and now you're down. That is the casino 101. Happens at the casino every single day. You win big, and then you take that money, you put it back on the table, and then the casino takes your money. This is the stock market, guys. When you make money, learn to pull your money and enjoy it. Sit back and be a spectator. Don't immediately rush and go and buy it again. Market makers know you're doing this. Market makers know your game. This is why they do this. Now we're approaching a time to start buying Xena again. And I'm going to be buying Xena again very soon. Maybe as early as tomorrow, I might be buying another 16,000 shares. So I'm hunting it at the lowest possible price. It is not at the lowest possible price. It's low, but it's been lower. So I want to buy it as low as possible. I'm in no rush to buy it, but... I do want to get it cheap, and it is cheap right now, so I'm definitely considering buying at these levels. So, yeah, just take the money when it pops, take a breath, go enjoy, enjoy the money, go shopping, go on a vacation, just chill. And I'm telling you, I've made this mistake, Max. Don't feel bad. I've done it so many times. Now, I choose not to. I take my money, I go on vacation, close the laptop, go away from the computer. Trust me, learn to do this because I, man, I got guys I know that were up 20 grand on MTLO, sold, then did the exact same thing, bought it back in again because of greed, because they wanted to make money again. Like as if 20 grand on a stock wasn't enough. So this is what I need you guys to understand. You, you take your hard earned money, you invest it in a stock, it goes up, you pull the money out and instead of enjoying your winnings and celebrating with your friends and family and your loved ones, or even by yourself, doing what you want to do, you immediately put it back in and you create stress for yourself. Now the stock goes down and now you're down all of a sudden. Don't do it. Don't do it. Take the money, run, enjoy it, and then go sit from afar and hunt. And hunt and hunt and hunt the next bottom. Keep your money safe. Don't risk it by just throwing it in the markets. The markets are highly risky. The markets are highly volatile and they will continue to be. They will always be. That's the markets. Now, if you go to www.richtvlive.com, you can see all of our rich picks and see how they are doing, how they've been trending. And I mean, these are only just our picks for the last few months. Since uh, we're all the way back to September of 2018 with some of our picks, but we've literally been making picks since January of 2017 and we've correctly predicted canopy growth. We've correctly predicted Aurora Cannabis. We've correctly predicted Afria. We've correctly predicted Kronos Group. We've correctly predicted so many big winners. Village Farms, SeaWeb, Tilray. The list goes on and on and on. And we're going to continue to. Oh, Aurora Cannabis is green. A little bump here. Told you guys Aurora is a buy. Anything under 10 bucks for Aurora and Afria is a buy. Okay? I'm just putting it out there. I ain't telling you guys to buy it. I don't do that. But in my opinion, it is a buy. Okay? These are great companies. They are giants in the sector. They are beaten down right now like everybody else, but they will resurrect and they will have a great future. And I'm not surprised to see Aurora Cannabis up 1.14% at $9.75. The question is how long will it stay under $10?
Yeah, FSD has been a massive disappointment, Max. I agree with you. Ryan Benton says, FOMO is a disease, Rich. Yes, it is. And it's a disease that we need to work on. Even myself, I got massive FOMO all the time like everybody else. And we all have to work on it. Fear of missing out. Would you guys like to hear the song? I know it's early in the morning. Don't want to blow out your ears. But I think that this is the time for FOMO is real. What do you think? A little bit of FOMO is real? Start the morning? Justin T says he's absolutely... Oh, what the heck? What the heck? FOMO is real. Rich T. Lie. Here we go, guys. FOMO is real. Namaste is green. NYM Nutraceuticals is green. Alethea Health is green. company Revolution Enterprises names former Tribune publishing CEO and publisher of the Chicago Tribune Tony Hunter chair of board of directors interesting Enterprises.org. How come they never mention the symbol here?
Yeah, well, the MJ sector is definitely finding a bottom. That's for sure. There's no doubt about that. Which, if you're an investor, this is the best time to load up. Big Zini says, sometimes I have Ronnie, regret of not investing, but never FOMO. Well is a good one, Rich, looking for the next leg up. It looks like uh, the U.S. sector is green and the Canadian sector is green right now for cannabis stocks. So we're not having huge green anywhere, but we are st have starting to have some green, which is a good sign that we are bouncing off the 52-week lows. You can see Vate Elevate Brands is up 5.3%. Ianthus Capital Holdings, which we've been talking about, which was at a 52-week low, is coming up a little bit, up 2.5%. CV Science is up 2.5%. It's MedMen trading it. What time is Midas interview with Linton? Do you think there will be a run up when that happens, Rich? Probably. Absolutely. Every time Bruce Linton is doing any interviews and he talks about anything, it seems as though whatever stocks he talks about has a run up so i wouldn't be surprised to see some some momentum on the stocks that he brings up in his interview i believe it's right before market close i believe it's at 12 pst 3 uh eastern time so medman is at 325 and you can see that medman over the last month it's actually had a quite a big month so we can see it's come back from 267 look at three month chart yeah so the bottom was 259 and I think it even got a little bit lower than that intraday. How was a great entry? And you could see it had a big run up all the way to 358, almost a full dollar up. Uh, well, yeah, it went up a full dollar in a matter of days. So it's come back down a little bit. This was an amazing entry for MedMen, for anyone who got in. Congratulations if you did. Had a nice move, come back down. So definitely MedMen is one that I really like in America. I think it has enormous potential. I believe it will be one of the biggest multi-state operators in America. And when America legalizes, which it will, most likely by elections 2020, I wouldn't be surprised to see men might be one of the biggest players in America. Big Zini says, HMMJ and CGC need to break the downtrend before I'm interested again. Should be near the bottom though. Yeah, it's definitely getting close to a bottom. Look at, let's take a look at HMMJ. Let's take a look at their one year. Okay, so the lowest HMMJ has been in a year is 14. So we're still quite a ways away from there. It's been to those levels twice. It was at 14.59, August 14, 2018. So... If we continue to see a downtrend this summer, we may see it go lower. And again, in December 24, 2018, it hit 1414. Those were the bottom bottoms. Right now, we are seeing a consolidation. It was just at 23 and a half, 2365, March 19, 2019, not too long ago, when everything was climbing during the resurrection. And right now, we are falling and we are down to 1760. So we are definitely getting closer to the bottom. It's not showing the ultimate bottom yet, but definitely showing a lot of consolidation all the way down here, as you can see for the last few months. So I like HMMJ. I believe that this is a dividend paying cannabis ETF, and I think it has a lot of potential. And even at these prices, I think if you get in, you are going to see returns. Could you get in a little bit lower? Absolutely. If you're patient, you can probably get it cheaper, but I believe this is a stock that we will see well over $20 again in the future. And as the cannabis sector grows, so does the HMMJ ETF. Okay. Big Zini says MTLO went to exactly a dollar like you said it would, Rich. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately it didn't hold that price and it came back down. But yeah, it, I think it went to 96 cents. Maybe it went to a dollar. I'm not sure. I thought I saw it at 96. But... Yeah, um, 
Yeah, I anticipated it would go to a dollar. I believe it will go back to a dollar and beyond that in the future when I'm not 100% sure. But one thing I did pick up from Bruce Linton is that he wants it to go up and he wants to push the stock and push the company up, but he doesn't want it to go up too fast. So that's something I did pick up from his interview yesterday that we posted here on uh, Yahoo Finance. And um, that's really something that I'm paying attention to. You know, listen to their words carefully and listen to the words that they choose because I believe that Bruce Linton is very, very strategic with everything he says. Now, just looking at the gainers, Alifia Health is building steam up 6.84% and still so cheap at $1.25. I absolutely love Alifia Health and they have so much potential, but like a lot of companies, they've been beaten down and they're up now today 6.84% at $1.25. Love to know what you guys think about Alifia Health. Now, thank you guys for being here. I got a big day ahead of me today, so I'm gonna run. If you have anything you want me to talk about, please comment on the video. If you like this video, smash the like button, share the video everywhere, and remember, if you win and I win, we all win. It's true. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you winners, we bring them to you first. We analyze them, we break them down. Sometimes there's losers out there, just like CanTrust, and we bring you that information as well. We explain to you what's going on, we explain to you why they're down. We explain to you why we think they're going to continue to go down, which they have. We've been correct about that. I told you it was, it was a short. And I mean, everyone's joking, saying they can't trust can trust, which is really ironic. You got a name like can trust, which is pretty much essentially saying within your name, you can trust us. And clearly you can't because they illegally were operating and secretly were building fake walls to hide cannabis from Health Canada and admitted to it and now they are in a ton of legal trouble. Lawsuits are mounting. I told you guys it was the short of the century. It's been going down ever since I said it and I can I believe it continues to go down. At some point this will be a buying opportunity. There will be a ton of money to be made. The question is when. I predict we see it go below $3 in the $2 range. I don't know how much lower it will go, but if I do see it go to $2 or less, I will personally buy at least 10,000 shares and just hold because I do see greener pastures in the future because these guys are a good company minus the mistake they've made and hopefully they learn from this. They have apparently hired an entire team of staff of people to make sure this mistake doesn't happen again. Hopefully we never see it again, but the reality is this is the short of the century. It's going to keep going down and I don't see how it turns around anytime soon. So keep watching, stay on your toes. If there's any news or any stocks or any picks you want me to look at, please let me know, put it in the comment section. This is your boy, Rich from Rich to be live and we're out. Peace. Now, FOMO is real. Don't chase stocks. Don't panic. Don't, you know, don't panic when you're trading stocks. Okay. When you're trading, you want to date stocks. You want to be a hunter. Okay. You want to hunt stocks. You want to hunt bottoms. You want to hunt 52 week lows. You want to buy low and sell high. And when you win, you want to take your money and run. Okay. That's how you win. You take your money and you run. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. You guys are the best community on YouTube right here, right now. Big Zini is liking well.
Never serving my chef, he stays looking to me. This one dirty, that mean nigga looking. And if you get caught, then you best to be cooking the recipe. Don't be as a hazard, be drinking. Uh, uh, this is no kid and play. I got shit to say. I got homies in the CFL to the NBA. Word of juice, anyways. I don't do this for the clout. I don't do this for the clout. You can just get off my clout. You can just get off my clout. Hey, to stop bringing me down. I know you loving the sound. I know you loving the sound. Baby, just look at me now. Yeah, I'm talking my shit. Three seconds, I'm a blast off. Alpha Omega, see, I am the past, present, future, really no mask off. Fucking with rich, we getting rich. Yeah, you know my stack strong. Smoking in Philly, it's silly, it's silly. How many trolls trying to take along? Blaze through, then I'm back again. I got the keys and you can't get in. I do not take an L, so I just had to win. I run with killers and shooters and savages. I do not listen to you. I do not miss off the kill. I'm in the midst of Peru. Sound. I know you loving the sound. I know you loving the sound.